What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you feeling? Are you a big fan of uh, Shang-Chi? Do you love this guy? I, I honestly, I gotta be real. I didn't see the movie. The actor uh, is kind of an off-putting individual. He said a lot of crazy things that I was like, you know what? Uh, make make your money by yourself, buddy. You're insulting the audience. You're saying a lot of crazy stuff. I don't I don't feel the need to get behind this movie. But as we know, Shang Chi came out and it was a big success. And congratulations. I don't I don't take that away from you, Shang Chi actor. I just think you gotta stop acting like a weirdo. And uh, this is another example of this guy being a weirdo. He's kind of full of himself. This is a guy who kind of went from zero to hero. None of us had heard of this actor, and I don't even remember his name. Simu Lu. His name's Simu Lu. Came out of nowhere, gets a great opportunity. And I'm not saying you have to be the most humble guy in the world. Am I the most humble guy in the world? No, I'm the greatest YouTuber who ever lived. But a little bit of humbleness, a little bit of aw shucks, you know, thank you to the fans for getting me here, and I appreciate everything. And a little of that would be nice. But this guy doesn't want to do that, and that's what we're going to talk about real quick. Sub subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I want to talk about this story. Look at this story. Simu Lu refuses to sign Shang-Chi comics. Now, Giant Freaking Robot has added this little bit, but it's for an important reason. It's for an, an important reason. No. No, 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 no. Look. One part of... I think if you join the Marvel family, you should be so excited to be a part of a rich legacy, a tapestry... Of, uh, of characters and stories that have been going on for decades, if not a century. What do, what do we close it? What is this, like 80 years of Marvel Comics? I don't even know. And as part of that, it's so exciting. Imagine, like, you take Captain America. Now, I would not have my Captain America number one signed by Chris Evans, but it's an option. But obviously fans are taking him, old uh, Captain America comics, getting the signature of Chris Evans, and that's very exciting. For people, you know, to have these stars sign the comics that their characters appear in. I cannot understand the idea that a fan comes to you and goes, I love Shang-Chi, one of my favorite characters of all time. Would you please sign this Shang-Chi comic for you? And you go, no. And the reason you go no is, I mean, of course, because we live, we live in the darkest time period. Because it's racist. It's racist. Okay. Look. Uh, maybe you look back at some of these old comics. We are going to take a look at some old, some old master of kung fu comics. The origin of this Shang Chi character. No, the race depictions are not the same as they were now. Back then, they were not considered racist. Back then, you didn't bat an eye. Nowadays, we have different standards. We have to understand they're a product of a different time period. So going back, I mean, uh, yeah, there's one part. Uh, there's a famous Superman cover. Can we look at this? Are we going to get in trouble? Okay, their famous Superman cover. <laughs> Why do I know this exists? Because because I'm a racist. Superman says, "Ah, oh, show me the picture. Come on, you know you want to." Action Comics number fifty-eight. Superman says, "You can slap a jap with war bonds and stamps." Okay, clearly not okay these days. But I think. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe don't take this one to Henry Cavill. Maybe I would I would raise an eye if you went up to Henry Cavill and you go, "Can you sign my slap a jap cover?" This is a little much. But a master of kung fu comic, most of these comics are not nearly as bad. Well, let's get well, first of all, let's get from a uh, Simu exactly what he has said. Now, I don't even know if we have a quote. I don't know how this story got uh communicated it just says that he has announced he will not be autographing any of the older shang chi comics despite the fact that he will be at a number of comic conventions this is due to the obvious racial connotations for the older characters in the comics and this seems to be revolving around the character of fu manchu now fu manchu was a pulp uh character which existed in a variety of things this was not necessarily a marvel character this was an evil uh, Asian warlord who appeared in a bunch of different uh, stories. Uh, I don't know what, when Fu Manchu started being a thing. What was the first Fu Manchu? Introduced in a series of novels by the English author Sox Romer, beginning before World War I. Consider this like an open source character, like a Sherlock Holmes. This was like one of the first characters that all sorts of people kept stealing, and one of the people who stole it was Marvel. 
And now Simu is telling us, well, Fu Manchu is so racist, I can't possibly sign these comics. And, uh, I mean, here's, here's one of the comics he doesn't want to sign. All right, I just picked a random issue of Master of Kung Fu 17. Let's see how awful this really is. It is interesting to look back. There was a big Kung Fu time period that was super interesting. Uh, and we're kind of getting back to that. Okay. So here he is just walking down the street. Uh, what is what is racist in this comic? Is this a racist depiction? Does he look too Asian here? I don't I don't understand. Here is this the Fu Manchu character. This is clearly again one of these sinister Chinese warlords, and you could say maybe it's stereotypical to have these I don't know weird masked things and the bowing ladies, but nothing about this strikes me as so impossibly racist. That signing that I mean, Shang Chi here appears like a great hero. It's not they're not saying like look at this stupid Chinese guy. They're saying look at how awesome Shang Chi is with his uh, amazing kung fu powers. Even these depictions, I can think of a far more racist depiction that you could have here. And I just I don't understand. Now obviously some of the comics have more racist depictions than others. I guess I saw one cover that I was like okay, well maybe that one's. Not great. Let me see if I can find it. it was Masters, uh, Master of Kung Fu number one. And you might say, okay, well, no, it's not even number one. Is this number one? I can't see. Here you see kind of this sinister, claw-handed, you know, Asian character. But I'm going to argue, I mean, even this is not as terrible as it really could be. Yeah, he's the villain. I mean, if you you can, we've had white villains who have crazy claws uh, and evil features, and de it's not because he's Chinese necessarily. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think Simulu is going a little too far here? I think I think this is kind of ridiculous. I uh, I don't understand these actors. You, you're you're being a part of a great thing, and you want to deny fans the right to get your autograph because you're worried about some sort of historical portrayal of racism. It seems petty. Sign the comic book, move on. They're not asking you to sign it. Hey, Simu, can you sign it, Ching Chong Wing Dong? No, no one's asking for that. Just sign the book and move on. But let me know in the comments what you think. We got more videos coming soon. Veto Nation, again, hit that subscribe button. Make the fat man happy. Take care of yourself.